Well, hello, pantry peeps. Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today we are up and at it early. I got up at five. I already had Michael's uh, lunch made and breakfast, you know, kind of prepped, so that was easy. Um, anyway, uh, I apologize that yesterday's video was late, be but, you know, I was told um, that I would have the information I needed to put in the description box and it didn't happen the way it was supposed to. So I am at this point still waiting. Hopefully this all works out and I don't have to scrap that video um, and scrap my promise. I promised a bunch of people the information on Facebook too. So I've, I've emailed a couple of times. Hopefully I get my answer and um, I'm excited though. You guys, I have tons of stuff coming up. I'm gonna build my own hoop house for, and actually it'll be more like a, you know, a raised bed row cover kind of thing for my raised beds. I'm gonna do two of them. So come this fall, I might even do three. Come this fall and winter, I'm gonna have a garden. And because of Nevada sun and Nevada weather, we can have, we can have veggies all winter long. So I will have lettuce all winter long. My goal is not to buy store-bought lettuce. I will have spinach all winter long, kale, most likely Swiss chard is very cold hardy. Um, I'm, I'm super excited about this and I'm gonna try to extend the life of some of my tomato plants if I can. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it's worth a shot and it's cost is gonna be minimal. So for those of you that are wanting to do this, if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> and I've got, I've got a couple of really good ideas um, that I like better than the traditional hoop house, rounded hoop house thing. Uh, but I'm super excited. So that being said, we're gonna have that project coming up. We've got planting coming up. I've got grandbabies coming this weekend to help me with all of it. <laughs> Well, with the planting, I probably won't, I don't know that I'll be doing the hoop houses yet. Um, I'd like to do one of them just to see how well it keeps everything warm and germinates and all that. Um, and I've got to get the fencing on my garden areas because the dogs already walked through one and uh, the big garden that I had rototilled yesterday. Um, and I'll show some pictures at the end of all that. Um, they, they've been walking through it because there's no fence. So it's like a pathway and it's a pathway into the house with all the garden dirt. Okay guys, <laughs> thanks Struts relaxed. <laughs> He's taking a, a chillax on the floor. They all just follow me in. I'm home for about 20 more minutes and I wanted to show you what I got. So I got some marigolds. Marigolds help keep the bugs out of your garden. And I wanna, I, want, I bought some seeds too because I think they'll come up by seed and do just fine. Sage, you got water outside, come on. And they're not cheap these days. This is a 12 pack, I believe. Um, eight, 8.88, and this was a eight pack for 2.99. I mean, what happened to the $1.99 for a pony pack? Come on, everybody outside, come on, let's go. Follow me, I'm the leader. That's right, okay. So, um, tomato plants did fine outside last night. It got down to 37 or 35, I think. Anyway, I wanted to show you the garden areas and what a difference, my gosh. Ta-da! Got it all rototilled. Now we got some cleanup and we're gonna put our fencing and our um, PVC sprinkler system back up. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, these two big raised beds that are out here and possibly the one end of this one um, will be my winter gardens. And I'm gonna cover them. I'm gonna make a, almost like a hoop house, only different. It'll be a hoop house, but it'll be a large row cover that will sustain large plants. Me to probably get in there, at least, you know, bend over and get in. Um, there's an onion I need to take in the house. You know, these are from last year and delicious <laughs> okay and I had them get in here and rototill the center of this and 
what I, the reason I did that is to break up the root system of the raspberry suckers that are coming over to here. Now I'm more um, inspired to get in here and weed out in between the raspberries. I need to do that. I got to soak them down really good with the soaker hose this weekend. And I did purchase two soaker hoses so I can do that. And then I'm going to plant um, winter squash in here because they take up a lot of room. They sprawl. It'll give it room. I think I'm going to do butternut squash. Butternut squash will hold all winter long. Uh, might do some spaghetti squash, but for sure um, butternut squash. I've got some really good organic seeds. And look at under my, under my little cover right here. I don't know. Can you see in there? It's got, uh, it's got babies. Little greens popping up. Look at that. See that? little green here. Um, kind of hard to see, but they're there. We're getting some, um, the ground is warm enough. Your raised beds will warm up sooner than anything on the ground. So that's why if you've got both, plant in the raised areas first because the ground is much warmer. Oh, Ragnar, he locked himself in a chicken yard. How'd you do that? Buddy, <laughs> that's funny, I'm glad I'm home. He hasn't been in there very long. Oh, cause the gate. The gate went to the inside. Needs to come to the outside, huh, buddy? You don't got any water in there. You can't be in there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm I'm also trying to figure out. I want to beautify my chicken yard um, for the girls. This is a perfect size. I've had up to um, at one one time we had 15 chickens in there, and they did just fine. Unless you've got a temperamental breed that doesn't like to be cooped up. Um, that doesn't get along well, I should say. For a pretty small area, they need uh, two square feet or eight square feet. Eight square feet per chicken. I think that's what it is. So all the kale's coming back. I'm super excited. I'm not going to water till I get home tonight. I get off work a little bit late, but I want to. Um, I want to go ahead and uh, water then. Maybe I'll water now while I've got time and then it has a chance. The tomato plants need their leaves to dry out at night, so it's really good to water them in the morning. But look at these guys. These guys are going crazy. I've got tomatoes. Look at that. So I'm on my way back to work for the rest of the day and I forgot. I wanted to make sure that I told you uh, that yesterday's video, I mean, it got uploaded late because I was waiting for that link, but there was a mix up on the email. When I, he forwarded the email to my Yahoo email, it converted it to a um, Outlook email and I don't have an Outlook. And so I didn't get it. And that was the mix up. So does anybody know why that would happen? Um, why when he hit reply, it, it shot it to an Outlook account with the same prefix of my regular email. I don't know. Anyway, so we got that. We got the link for the solar oven coupon and there's one in the about section down below as well. Um, you guys can go over there and check it out. I did want to tell you it's $70 off the complete kit. You get the dehydrator, the water purification system, the, um, the pans, the two pans, one with a glass lid, one without. I think you get cookie sheets or baking sheets. I, I, you get the whole package. If you do the whole package, you get $70 off. If you just get the sun oven by itself, that coupon will get you $50 off. So it's totally up to you um, what you do. But I, you know, when I was selling them at farmer's markets, I would tell everybody, you know, how much did your range inside your house cost and how much does it cost you every month? And then how much does it cost when you have to get it fixed? There's nothing to get fixed on this. Oh my gosh, I can't get out. It, it literally, I wipe it out to clean it. I um, take some vinegar and water and uh, wipe it down if I need to. And mine lives outside. So as long as you're, you're careful with your shields and all that, and I think you could probably get replacement parts, but I don't see a need why you would ever have to replace anything. They're so well made in the USA. And you'll deal with the owner of the company if you ever have a problem. So um, that's really nice to know too. And he's just fantastic. 
So that's my story on the sun ovens. I'm so excited for you guys. I know a lot of you were like excited to be able to get in on purchasing one and I'm excited to bring you the, uh, the ability to go ahead and do that and save you some money. I didn't get that when I bought mine, but um, that's okay. I've It's paid for itself over and over and over again, honestly. So in fact, tomorrow, if I can get my bag together, let's see. I have, eh, no, won't be tomorrow. Probably be Friday. Friday, <laughs> I'm gonna have a roasted chicken in there. Tomorrow, I'm gonna have to be creative with dinner. I get off early enough though to make that happen, so. Okay guys, so I am checking out the baby chicks. I came out here to get the dogs food for in the morning because I have to be to work early. Um, and when I have an early morning, as you know, I get lunches ready, I get, or at least Michael's, don't always get mine ready, but I get his ready and then I get um, the dog's food all ready to go. And anyways, I came out here and they were so cute. Look at them. But they were taking little dust baths. Look at her laying down in there. She was, now they're running frisky. Look at her. She's gonna lay there in by the door there. See if she gives herself a little dust bath. Oh yeah, getting ready. This is the first thing they did when, when they actually felt shavings because they'd been in a brooder. So they just felt that um, hardware cloth. And now they get the sh deep shavings and they love it. <laughs> Look at them. They're doing so good. I just love them. And keeping them warm at night. Somebody asked if that light was too bright for them and it really isn't. They can move away from that light anytime they want, but they can get warm in front of it. So... They're almost completely feathered out and they're getting really rambunctious. So I'm gonna get their feeder full. I changed their water today. Still put, you know, a teaspoon and a half of apple cider vinegar with the mother in it for them. Good gut bacteria for chicken bellies, huh? <laughs> you guys are feeling froggy. I can tell. You're really feeling froggy. Let's see. You guys want to be on YouTube? I know you do, huh? They said, oh yeah, mama. We want to be on YouTube. Oh, look at him pecking my finger now. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to get their feeder filled back up for in the morning. And then, um, oh, and I made the best cream of asparagus soup. So I text dad today and I said, dad, do you like cream of asparagus soup? And he's like, I've never had it, but I love asparagus. And I said, well, I'm going to make you some. And Heidi and I were going to surprise Dad tomorrow, but Michael told him that we were coming. I said, I told you not to say anything. It was a surprise. And he goes, oh, I didn't hear that part. Anyway, so cream of asparagus soup. And I'm going to make it again, and I'm going to do a tutorial vlog. So those of you that canned your own asparagus, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for this because it is delicious and it was so easy to do. It took no time at all. So on a weeknight when you don't know what to have and you wanna have soup, mm, it was delicious. Michael says he doesn't like asparagus, but he had two bowls of it after he ate a thermos full of home can split pea soup because he didn't go see dad tonight. So he ate the soup I sent for, you know, for dad. Anyway. So I'm excited for dad to taste it. I think he's really gonna like it. Low sodium, low fat, delicious. Anyway, okay. Oh, look at the girlies. They're, they're just running around. Run and look. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna go in the other room and close the vlog out for you and we'll recap the day and uh, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wind down the video, get my ironing done for tomorrow. Um, so I don't have to think about it in the morning. When I have to get up really early, I'm just gonna wear this plain white top with a tank under it, because tops nowadays are kinda see-through. I hate that. And then these are Jean Marie Capris. Aren't they pretty? Anyways, that's what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. And I can wear flats with these, or I can wear wedged heels, but I think um, in the morning, 
I have to be on my feet. And, and I have to walk um, when we get to the hospital and stuff. We have to walk quite a ways from the parking garage. So I'm going to say, mm, we're going to wear flats. And I'm going to try to do some of the green ball tonight and focus on that. It's really going to be wonderful weather tomorrow. Actually, um, high of 68. And tonight, I think it's still going to get down to 37. But my tomato plants made it last night. And um, so I think they'll be fine. Um, they hardened off pretty good. Um, as long as it doesn't get down below 35, you know, getting into the freezing temperatures, we're okay. So um, today we had a good day. And I have to tell you, a friend of mine that I worked with for 11 years at a salon years ago, um, I have not seen her in at least five or six years. She moved to Florida and she was in town for a graduation at UNR and um, our mutual friend uh, was getting a haircut tonight. And so she surprised me <laughs> and it was awesome. We got to spend some girl time together while I was cutting Cindy's hair and, and hopefully she got a good haircut because I'm not really sure. <laughs> I was so focused on, on catching up and um, yeah, it was awesome. Anyways. Tina, if you see this, mwah, it was wonderful. And um, so I, I, I kind of got a garden plan, <sighs> kind of. I'm going by the seat of my pants. I don't know why I said that. I kind of have a garden plan. I don't really have a garden plan. And I, you know, I, I honestly, I put it in and I see what happens. But I am going to put the butternut squash out in the raspberry patch because they meander and wander and they do really well out there. So I'm gonna throw um, some compost in there to mix in a little bit of compost and I'm gonna really mulch over it well so I don't deal with a bunch of weeds in there because the, I will get weeds in there, but um, I've got straw bales. I'm gonna compost over top of that like I did last year and I'm gonna compost. I've got old straw bales that need to be used up. So, um, until Michael's shooting his bow again, when he wants to do that, we can get new bales uh, for targets and get those used up before they fall apart and they end up, you know, blowing in the wind. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, there's a link below for the coupon code to get um, $70 off the full uh, sun oven deal. Or if you just wanted the sun oven and you don't want all the accessories, you can get $50 off. So. You can click through that code and it will give you whatever you need. And, um, oh my gosh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can do a webinar and you guys can learn a little bit more about it. And maybe, maybe, um, I don't know, we've got a big giveaway coming up. Maybe we can finagle a way to, um, try to get something going where we can get a sun oven. I would love to have another one. Just because it'd be nice to have, I mean, I could serve a meal for 12 people and dessert and everything for easily with uh, two sun oven. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, guys, uh, enough dreaming, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, check the links below. Because, oh, the other thing I think I've got um, over on my Facebook page, I posted a link to one pound of organic turmeric. It was a killer deal. So, be sure and go over and like my page. It's down below as well. And get on, get in on that deal and it's Prime if you have Prime with uh, Amazon. It's fantastic. Ooh, somebody's coming in. Oh, it's my husband. Uh-oh. All right, guys. Mwah. Good night. <laughs> so here's Michael's wrap for tomorrow. And he loves these. Absolutely wonderful low-carb tortilla. Yum!